I guess for people, some architecture is more challenging to them than others. I think this, sometimes this is very challenging right, right, to people. Yeah. There are no upper cabinets, for God's sake. Where do I put my dishes? <laughs> Modern design doesn't allow itself to be distracted by the chaos that's happening all around us. The world is getting way too overwhelming. As we're in front of phones and computers so much, we want to come back towards something that is a little bit, a little softer. It's still surprising to me how many people are intimidated and frightened of modern homes. There's a sense that modern living means giving things up, like you can't have stuff. And it's not about that at all. As you strip away the clutter and all the things that happen in more traditional architecture, you're left with the very raw question of how does one material meet another? Interior to exterior. Organic landscape to the precision of modern control. Furniture really came from the architecture we were doing. We would design a house for someone, and then they may have said, well, how about the dining room table or the sofas? Furniture, I personally feel best designing when I can imagine it in a particular space. In the case of Maddox, it was created with the wide backs and wide arms because you could approach from the rear as well and maybe you know, sit on the back sit on the arm to face either the conversation that's happening on the sofa or the chair or the opposite way. There's still no substitute for physically experiencing a space. To get yourself into something like a modern house may open up your eyes to a way of living that is very different than some of the other types of living that are available to us. The home can be a place of rest, and you end up with this very tranquil sense of beauty.